let's get into our next lesson, wave interactions. I am feeling the vibe of this PowerPoint. I am kind of matching with it, so I think that's cool. Let's get started. Okay, so there are many different interactions waves have with each other, with different objects, with um, other waves, or with itself. Um, so we're going to be talking about that today. Um, the first interaction is reflection. Um, that's when a wave interacts with a different object. So a wave that bounces off an object or an obstruction and heads in a different direction. So did you have you ever had something shiny on you and the sun's coming in and then it kind of bounces off onto the wall? That is reflection of light. Um, so it's showing that here. So it's bouncing off um, your a shiny object and then reflecting to a different area. So that's reflection. Next is refraction. That's the bending of waves due to the change in speed. Um, that usually, a change in speed usually happens when a wave enters a new medium um, at an angle that's not perpendicular. So not straight down. It's going kind of at a slant. Okay. Um, so we could see this in a um, clear cup. Um, this GIF right here is showing the refraction of um, the waves of this, um, the light reflection. Um, it's making it longer and bent. Um, you could also see it with a pencil in a clear glass. If you put the pencil in, uh, the pencil will kind of look like it's bending. Then there's diffraction. That's the bending or spreading of waves around a barrier or through an opening. Okay, so um, these pictures are showing through an opening. So um, the waves are um, straight and then once it hits that opening it kind of bends and spreads out. Okay, um, you could also kind of see this um, if you have um, a crack in your door and the lights on so maybe in your living room um, and it's dark in your room and you're trying to sleep but there's a little crack um, and then the light kind of shines through um, there might be light and dark spaces or just a spreading of that light wave okay this is uh, this is exactly what I was talking about um, that spreading and then the the repeating of um, light and dark light and dark um, that's because um, of diffraction and this is showing it again there's two different barriers right here um, so the waves are going in between that barrier and spreading out. That's called diffraction. Next is absorption. Uh, that's the energy of a wave that's transferred to the material it encounters. So have you ever seen on TV or maybe you've done it yourself? Um, when people are really mad, they scream into pillows and you can't really hear the scream. That's because the pillow is absorbing the sound waves. Okay, so the pillow is absorbing some of the sound, making it less loud to hear. So if a person just screamed, it would be a lot um, louder than if a person is screaming into a pillow because um, of the absorption. Okay, we also see absorption in um, colors. So I have a nail polish right here. Um, it's kind of green, kind of blue, but this color is what is being reflected. So it's bouncing off this object with these different colors and the colors that are not being shown, so like yellow and things like that, um, they're being absorbed from this um, object, okay? So the nail polish is absorbing different colors, but also um, reflecting other colors. So the reflection is what we see, the absorption is what we don't see, okay? Next, um, we're going to talk about wave interferences. So that's when two different types of waves or two different waves interfere with each other or um, interact with each other. There is constructive interference. Um, constructive just means adding or helping. So if you've ever heard of uh, constructive criticism or um, yeah, constructive criticism, that's like helping um, by giving input. Okay, so constructive, it's adding or helping. That's when two waves collide to form an even greater wavelength. Okay, so um, this GIF right here is showing that um, if you bounce up and down in a, um, say you're making a 
wave pool if you bounce up and down um, at the same time uh, those waves can kind of uh, form together to make an even bigger wave which is what is happening right here okay and um, we could see it in a diagram too um, these two um, wavelengths are um, the exact same so when they add together they're making an even big amplitude so an even greater wavelength okay Then there is destructive interference. That's when two waves collide to even to form an even smaller amplitude. So if you um, look at these graphs here, these two waves are opposite of each other. So um, when these opposites interact, they're forming a straight line. So that's not a bigger amplitude. That's an even smaller amplitude. There's no wavelength there. Um, so when two waves collide um, and they're kind of opposites, um, they're not they're one's going up when the other is going down in terms of um, the wavelength it is creating a smaller amplitude and finally there is a thing called resonance that's when um, there's an increase of amplitude of a vibration uh, when these external vibrations match the object's natural frequency so in this gif right here this person is swinging back and forth um, and as this person is swinging, the other swings also move with it. That's because the natural frequency is being matched um, and it could actually vibrate even more, okay? And we could also see this um, in um, these horseshoe um, sound things. Um, when you hit them at the same, um, the same pitch, it will create um, other ones to do the same thing, so make a make a sound. So that's all I have. I hope you learned something new and I look forward to seeing you.